My name is Daniel Kraus. I'm an American sculptor and I'm presently living in Berlin, Germany. We're in my studio where I make small models for larger sculpture projects, generally focused on in China. I grew up in Chicago uh, in the early 60s and 70s. My first sculpture was out of shoe boxes of a Ankylosaurus dinosaur, and some of the teachers started to complain to my parents that all I talked about or did was with dinosaurs. <laughs> so that, that's really how it, it started, model making and science and evolution. I was in China for 30 years. I went over there for my graduate work in sculpture and had no idea that I was going to be spending the majority of my life there. I worked with uh, sculptors that were doing very large public sculptures for all over China. I lived in China from 1987 to 2018 and watched China wake up. It was a really interesting time to be in China. I ended up uh, taking a job at the Art Academy teaching sculpture. All of the courses I taught at the Guangzhou Art Academy and the People's University were in Chinese. So my Chinese got pretty good and China became my main focus. While living in China, I was able to go and visit Terracao waters. No, I got completely blown away. <laughs> I watched them uncover the whole army. Slowly, they kept digging up more and more of these uh, burial figures and, and just completely amazing. So America opened up my eyes of Western art and traditional arts and modern art, Picasso, said David Smith, and, and being around these figures and then going to China and getting um, submerged into socialist public artworks. So monumental socialist artwork. That was a huge drive that I saw happen in China and helped my training. Then fast forward to, to Berlin. Berlin is um, very interesting to me on multiple levels. There are thousands and thousands of artists here, which is kind of like Beijing. There's um, a social fabric that really supports the arts at different levels. And being around old Berlin and new Berlin, fusing these cultures it's, it's perfect for me. One of the essence of figurative sculpture is motion through political change and development from societies and how they have been moving. So my figures have an energy and I think it's essential to good sculpture form is the motion and the energy. When you look at my pieces, they're not static. And that's, that's a kind of a inherent inside the sculpture and to get that energy in, to bring it alive, that's, that's the formula. In college, I started welding, started doing a Renaissance education as a graduate student. So I, it, I didn't have the, the normal order of things for an artist, um, but it worked out really well. And once you get this thought and you're young and you have energy and you're stubborn or dedicated, it, it, you can't really get it out of your head. You know, going into the arts is, is not an easy. First thing um, to do is identify which arts you're interested in. You know, what materials, what instruments, what tools you're attracted to. Find a mentor. I can't stress anything more than finding uh, an older person with years of experience. You know, you have to put in your time, your, your, your 10,000 hours. You need a little ambition. You have to have a love or a real, a serious interest in what you're doing. You can't think about the money. The money will come, you'll figure out ways of doing the money. But the most important is that you're, you don't have to mold your art for sales. That's really kind of a antithesis. And just self-promotion subtly, you know, networking. You have to have a network. You can't just be a, a priest or a monk in a cave and do your art, you know, forget it. That, that's really not the way to do it. One of the most important points is to be in a learning phase. So if you get down a little or a lot or really, really low, which uh, a 
lot of people go through in life. A lot of people don't talk about mental health. I think almost the majority of everybody in the world goes through it at one time or another in your life. It's probably um, abnormal not to. You have to make sure you don't separate from society. And the other thing is that you have to learn. You have to open your mind and get back into learning. You have to do some reading. You have to make some short-term goals. You need to change your environment sometimes. You need to change some of the people that are around you maybe. It's um, no one set formula and you have to look forward, move forward. You know, get something, get some goals into the future.